year. Shut and, up. And a healthy, peaceful, sweet year to everybody. Amen. Health, Thank health you. number one. Thank you. Okay. Uh, to be okay. To be air. I went and had, yeah. I went and had a, a COVID test today because I've oh, yeah. been having this this anyway. I'm fine, but it took 15 minutes to get the results back. Oh, Which yeah. one was it? I had one on. You, I, I, you should have gotten my test. I got one that they'll do in five minutes. Where'd you go? <laughs> <laughs> I'm selling them. 457 King Street. David, that was or a King and Ratcliffe. Right. Mirzogin Nish, Happy New Year. Mirzogin, a good event You know, my mother used to say, I get the fiddle. I get the fiddle. I get the fiddle, oi. That's what my mother used to say. I thought a fiddle is what you put in the Western Wall. <laughs> well, that's a note. It is. You're asking God it's for a good note. Are we all going to have a meeting somewhere after we do all this virtual when the virus goes bye-bye? Well, those of you who are at convention in, in July will certainly be doing this live then. <laughs> I know how to say wave in Yiddish. How? Uh, Give a shuckle at the hand. <laughs> <laughs> that works. <laughs> so, yeah, it's a good one. I'm, I'm shuckling. shuckling. I'm shuckling. I'm shuckling. <laughs> I'm shuckling with the hangs. Asma David Schmanasser, I'm shuckling. Thank you. She thinks it's better, isn't it? That's good. Yeah. Wow, you're not saying that yet. I have some phrases. You're not shuckling. Ah, the hunt is the... The hunt? <laughs> no, the collar. <laughs> actually, the hint. The collar. The collar. The hunt is a greiser, Caliph. A hint is a claim. That's good. The hunt was not there yet. A radio show. It's eight o'clock. Welcome, everybody. Hi, Joe. We get the shuckle mit the hint. For those of you who have just joined us, we're trying to figure out what the Yiddish word for wave is. She told me. When you wave at someone, like if you do a wave. A wave. Oh. Betty said it. Shuckle mit the hint. Shuckle mit the hint. <laughs> <laughs> that's pretty good. That's descriptive. It so is. we're going to try. We're going to try to speak a little more Yiddish. You, that was the rabbi sermon in Emmanuel, the wave. So that's how. The wave, wave was the sermon. Yes. Yeah. I don't remember Europeans waving so much. They smile. Yeah. Hug. Yeah. yeah. I don't. I don't. We hug, and we kiss. Yeah. These. Yeah, that way. Yeah, you don't see that too much. We get the kish. Well, yeah. the word yeah. the word was yeah. do and do. No, this is a French the French the French well, the French culture. Oh, I'm so stupid. I'm the piscis a hen and on the piscis a hair. And in Belgium, <laughs> why? Dry mold and dry mold. Yeah, when the white yeah, female. Female. Wow. So tonight we're going to be sharing uh, different uh, sayings that maybe you grew up with. And uh, we'd like, uh, Reggie, you were telling us yeah. when, a little I, earlier. I, I say it to my grandchildren too. Man, shine at sicko bobele. Anybody ever heard that? My shine at sicko bobele? My something booba? My booba sweet booba. little pea. Yeah. Oh. My sweet little pea. A real thick of bubba. No, that's yeah. Not. My shine at sick of bubba. That's what I would say to my grandkids. I know that, but uh, you, I, we didn't use it like that. If, we, if, if somebody did something not so, it wasn't too nice, you would say, she's a, 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 a thick of bubba. No, that I never heard. Okay. So I know. You want to split? Why, why don't we start? Um, so thanks everybody for joining. Uh, we're, we're going to finish by two minutes to nine, so you can run in and either watch the uh, watch the debate or watch the sixth inning of the Indians Yankees game, depending on what your favor is. And I've got both DVR, so I'll, I'll I'll see a little bit of both. Um, so thanks for coming. As as I mentioned in the past, these uh, groups are sponsored by the Federation of Jewish Men's Clubs and. Uh, uh, we thank everybody for coming. 
Um, I'm going to hand it over to uh, Joe and Alan to conduct the meeting. I, I know, as Alan mentioned, this is going to be a little bit more Yiddish tonight. Um, I think there, Alan, I, uh, Alan and, and um, Joe, there may be a couple of new people here that you just want to quick, get a quick uh, introduction. If you're new with us tonight, would you raise your hand? Maxine, I, I think you're new tonight. Can you hear me? Yes, I can hear you, but I was here a few weeks ago. Uh, well, welcome back. Thank you. <laughs> Elaine, we know you've been with us. Yes. I don't see anybody else that's new. I, I see two. I see two uh, without a face. I see a, a Rochelle and a Robert. I don't know. <coughs> So, okay. this person. Rachel and Robert. Yeah. I think it's Rochelle. Rochelle. Yeah, it's Rochelle. I'm a little camera shy, so. <laughs> so, so are we all. So we all are. <laughs> have you Have you been uh, to one of our sessions? I've been to several of them. Yeah, yeah okay. several of them. Right. Haven't, right. haven't spoken right. too much. Oh, she's, so, so what, what we did last week was we asked everybody to mute. We, we found that to, to be a lot more effective. And, and raise your hand if you want to talk. And, and Joe will call on you and, and you'll unmute yourself. I think it will work this, uh, this way we won't have everybody kind of talking on top of each other. So, hello. Joe? Anna, are you new with us? No. No, I'm, no. Okay. I'm, back. Just, I'm just using an iPad in a different location. Yeah. You look Hi. better. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I'll take it. Surely, how come you didn't answer when I called you earlier? I'm sorry, I didn't hear the phone. Oh, we just texted each other. Okay. That's okay. So we, we, we want to try to keep the side conversation. Sorry, gonna, sorry. We're going to take, no, take some time at the Go end. Go ahead and keep it. Keep it amongst yourself. <laughs> Some time, what we did the last time was we left like 10 minutes, 15 minutes to kibitz, and that went over about 15 minutes after nine. And we're yeah. okay. So somebody, some people are Richard. Raising. You have your hand up, Richard. What, yeah. what would you like to share? <clears throat> Two Yiddish phrases from my youth. One was called Ekfelt, which means far away. Erfelt. Eckfeld. Eckfeld. The end of the world, yeah. Yeah, corner of the world. Corner. Eckfeld. And the other one was Sufisans. Sufisans. <laughs> Which <laughs> means? <laughs> up in Sufisans? Does anyone know what it means? It was, yeah, let me ask you this. Can, this is going to finish two minutes tomorrow. Okay. Ahead, Sufisan? Does he, does he say Sufisan? Yes. yes. It's a Schluffen Sufisan? Yes. <laughs> you remember. What does it mean? mean if, you when, you go to, when you go to sleep, they had so many people in the bed, you had to sleep Sufisan. So they sleep with the head at one end, the feet at the other. Right, Sufisan. Sufisan, please. Thank that's, that's a good one. Yes. Why don't you check this with the in my email. Did you have to unmute yourself? Oh, okay. So, uh, a, a nice thing that my mom would want to say when she wasn't, you know, being sarcastic was a gesund oysteine kepele. We were talking about kepele. So she would say a gesund oysteine kepele. Right. Yep. And we could all use that now in this right. era of sickness. So, <laughs> yeah. does everybody understand that? A gesund no. voice, Diana Campbell. No. no. Can I wave? No. Okay. What does oh, can I speak something, Joe? Yes. What? Go ahead. Hi, Joe. Um, if 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 it's a kid sneezes, it's going a gesund after, a labem after. A gazint of the, no, a gazint of the, a lame of the, a koyach of the. Oh, you can have the cult already. Is that okay? <laughs> so now that you say this, maybe maybe this was said to me um, like after I sneezed. I'm not sure, but it's like a version of gazint. A gazint, a, a, a health, you should be healthy on your little head. 
Well, that's what I said. I right, said, exactly. I, no, I was just translating it for somebody said oh, they needed oh, a translation. Okay. That's all. No, whatever you said was great. That was fine. <laughs> <laughs> okay. And that's my contribution. Okay. <clears throat> Another thing I'd like to say, and then I, I'll, I'll leave y'all. Okay. <clears throat> this, uh, this guy that I, the guy, he's, he's from the Bronx. And when he was about 17 years old, he would go out, he lived with his grandparents and that all they spoke was Yiddish. And he aggravated that poor grandmother to death, the bubby here. Yeah? So he would go out, she would tell him, you know, be careful, do this. And he would laugh. And she'd go, er lachen bei mir falsch What is, what does that mean? What is this yeah, language? Yeah. Did they hear it? Uh-huh, but oh. they want to know what it means. Oh, he's laughing, and by me, I mean, I'm, 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 pieces are falling off of me. Uh, 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 it's falling. Uh, uh, somebody what? translated Faldsticker. <laughs> oh, from, by, from me, it, it's falling pieces, pieces. all right? I'm, yes. I'm dying and you're okay, you know, that kind no, of... No, by me, a foul sticker, that means the pieces are pieces falling Pieces are off. falling off, right. And they're, they're locked, and he's laughing. Okay. Okay, that's it. I think, I think uh, Esther was next. Esther. <clears throat> Hi. Do you hear me? Yeah, we yeah. hear you. Okay. Um, my father used to say, high level, which um, is kind of an interesting thing. If you're at a party, or you're at someone's house and you feel like it's time to go home, but your spouse is not ready. Um, my father would say to my mother, hi, Blethel. Now my husband says that to me. And it I means, <laughs> hi, Blethel means lift the spoons, uh, which means lift your feet. Let's go. <laughs> so that's, that's a saying I remember. Hi, so if you ever hear my husband saying hi, Blethel, you know that he's ready to go home. Anita. <laughs> Thank you. Number one, my mom used to always say, a hearts feel to hearts. Uh, yeah. Okay. So like hey, all of a heart. sudden he might call me and it'd be like, oh my God, I feel, you know, I feel you. Our hearts feel each other. And it's just a special saying she used to say. And you know, you walk around and you talk and you say, Gut to Duncan. Yeah. I hope everybody yeah. knows what that means. Okay. Gut to Duncan. One more. A shtickle nachas. Oh, yeah. A little piece of nachas. Yeah. A little bit of happiness. Yeah. Okay. That's it. Okay. David. Uh, what I have is kind of the reverse of what was said about. Uh, couple of comments ago about the, the false stickle. Uh, my mother had an expression that I've never heard from anyone else uh, that would describe, for example, uh, for, for current usage where she's still here, if you heard something absolutely dreadful from a politician, but it was dreadful but funny, she would say she was laughing with yashkises. Anybody <laughs> yeah, here? Yashkis. I yeah, I, I know heard it. This I, Alan, what is the Yeah, actually, the expression that I heard is Ervate mit Yashikis. He's crying with crocodile tears. He's not really serious. Or, so if you say a lot mit, mit, uh, mit uh, Yashikis, it would be kind of the same thing. He's laughing, but he's not, it's not serious. What's the second word? Yeah, yeah, what is the second Yashikis, word? Yashikis, if, yeah. if you were transliterating Y A S H. I K E S S, Yashikis. Well, in your family, it was yeah. Yashikis. In my family, it was Yashkises. <laughs> <laughs> As of tomato, the under the zook tomato. <laughs> yeah. Well, how many, yeah. how many of you would listen to your, your uh, mothers talking to other, other mothers and their entire conversation was questioned? No one would answer. They would answer with a question. For example, Beverly, have you heard from your daughter lately? My daughter, you think my daughter would call me? 
<laughs> you know, it it in uh, but it was all in Yiddish, and that was that of course made it a lot more entertaining. Yeah. Who had their hand up? Joe. Joe. Michael. Bre Brenda. But Brenda. I don't. It's Nate. I know Nate. Right. I couldn't remember. You're, you're talking about what people said when you sneezed, and. And in our family, if somebody sneezed, they said, Zu gesund. Zu gesund, yeah. Yes. And that was that. That's a, it's it's right. still common in the family. Oh, yeah. Zu gesund and Zu gesund. Zu gesund means bless yourself. Yeah, of course. You, What's to you? Um, I was a terrible procrastinator and drove my mother crazy because my nose was always in a book and I would hear, <laughs> move it. And then after a while, she'd get mad and she says, the Malis Gera, Malis Gera. Anybody Malik. hear that? Yeah, yeah, it's from Hebrew. Malik. Malik Gera. That's yeah. what the cud Don't does. Get your cud, get moving. Maligerist. So I heard <laughs> that all the time. <laughs> Is that, that Yiddish? It's, it's, it's Yiddish Hebrew, I think she said. It is. It's from it's Ma'alegera Ma Hebrew. Yeah. Ma Maxine, you need to take yourself off of mute. Okay, I have this in my head and I don't know what it means. The bus is Gaven is Gaven. Oh, what has what was been has been. What was was. was. What was. What was. was. Okay. And it's and it's usually versus Gavain is Gavain is Nish Dog. What was was and it isn't anymore. Right. That's the name of the oh, song. Nice. In fact, I I think we even played that song. Um on this. I'll sing it. You want me to sing it for you? Yes. <laughs> Joe, you, you want me to sing it for sing Absolutely. Gavain? Absolutely. All right. The having a tomato with what? Just the salad the dressing? You showed me. What? There's another one that's like that too. The a one tomato at a time. Is Gavain? Is Gavain? Is Gavain? I no no no. That's wrong. <laughs> I'll sing it. All right. Go ahead. Go. <laughs> is Gavain? Is Gavain? Is this do? Showing a fake. You know you are. You know you do. Be schnell the and fleeing of egg, and they went nishkim and slick. What is the vet? Say hi to the, I say hi to the Lonson. I don't know if I'm on him. Yeah. The, the feast fed, no, the feast fed schwach, the hua vet grew. Me neitzach, me kneitzach, me maatzach shen, me naat peinam no zirch alein. Fabus is given and is given is Nishdu. Very nice. Yeah, wow. <laughs> Very nice. Thank you. I got some more if you want. <laughs> <laughs> okay. I, I um I need to take a survey. Um this is something I, 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 I'm very lucky. I still have my mother. She's 96 years old. Uh, she's the source of my Yiddish. Um this hundred and sponsic, but okay, everybody knows that people say oy vey. And then the next step, like more severe from oy vey is oy gewalt. Right. Okay, but my mother all the time puts them together and she always says oy vey gewalt. And she's the only person I ever heard that from. And I want to know if anybody else has ever heard oy vey gewalt. Oh, really? Oh, yeah. Oh yeah. Oh, wow. So in fact, now with with emails with my family, you know, everybody's used to you know, O M G. Oh my God! In my family, emails to each other, it's always O V G. Oy vey gewalt. <laughs> <laughs> I so, like it. But I like can't it. believe somebody else heard that. I needed to take a. Survey. Oh yeah. Okay. Thanks. <laughs> so who's next? I think Michael Glazer had that. Mike, go ahead. Yeah. Uh, uh, something a little more edgy, you know, Yiddish is really the best language for swearing. So are you familiar with a pach and a kop? Yeah, I was going to say that I have one with you. A what? A one more time. A pach and a kop. What does it mean? A pach and a kop. May you have a head full of lice. <laughs> 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 a pach and a kop. 
Parchene. I have to look that up. Yeah. <laughs> Elaine. Elaine, go ahead. Elaine. Okay, well, if we're going with negatives, Zalvas and Sibilis van Pupik. Say, Sibyl and my Pupik? Zalvas and Sibilis van Pupik. You, you should <laughs> grow onions in your belly button. That's what yes. I thought you said. <laughs> Very the same thing. You should grow like an onion with your feet in the yeah. earth, your head in the earth and your feet up. That's a good, I like the creativity, Elaine. Thank you. Thank you. How about David? How about, how about Amisa Nishina up there? Of course, Yiddish oh, yeah, thing that I ever learned was when my mother, yeah. is, is when my mother would get annoyed with my father and would say, was willst du mir? Yeah. And that was really the first Yiddish phrase that all four of my, my three siblings and I really learned. Okay. Um, I, let me say, my dad used a phrase with his children a lot, and it was, it, it was profound. And he would say, Kicknish Dort. He would always tell us Kickname. What he was talking about is don't blindly follow a leader, or just because somebody has something, don't be jealous of it. Kicknish Dort. And when he was talking about blind, and don't follow the crowd, come to your own judgment. And that was really born of his experience in Europe and going through the war and Hitler, frankly. Yeah, my father would uh, say, would always say he, that was, it all came from that. The same thing, Kicknish in, in Yenem's Tosh. Um, that I used to hear. Don't I look know. in another man's pocket. Pocket. Right. That's great. Right. I used to hear that. Yes. Oh, Reggie. My mom, when she would get upset with me, she would always say, <laughs> which was quite often, Hockmanish and Chinese. Oh, oh yeah. yeah. Oh yeah. And then yeah. and then because they spoke Polish too when they didn't want us to understand. I don't know if I have mentioned this before. My mother, I always thought she would say, Don't mess with my head. I don't know if I mentioned this. And I thought she said, Pierre Dola Manish and Koporan. And I'm thinking, litter translation is don't mess with my head. And then I found out years later, it meant don't fuck with my head. And I never knew that. And I got, I went to her grave and I said, shame on you. All this time I thought it was Yiddish and it wasn't. <laughs> but between that and, uh, and Hockmanish and Chinik, I used to hear all the time. Oh yeah, I did too. Me too. Yeah, yeah me too. Uh, Michael. Yeah, I, 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 something I grew up in a more edgy house. Uh, how about, how about Michigan? It's in Toy. Oh, yes. <laughs> oh, yes. Which means you're crazy to death. Crazy. You're crazy till you're dead. You're totally crazy. Yes, that's right. I, I heard that too. <laughs> well. yeah, I heard that one is Teeth Tire Michigan. <laughs> what, what, Al? What is it? Teeth Tire Michigan. <laughs> Totally, completely crazy. Really? Yeah. When, uh, when uh, the, my parents' group didn't like somebody, they would say, he's a Chaim Yankel mit Vatene Hoisen. Yeah. With what Hoisen? Vatene. Uh, he's Vatene. a Shlomil with cotton pants. I never understood that, but I heard that as a put down you know, about different people. Anybody hear that? No. <laughs> <laughs> it's well, creative. You must have heard that. Well, I think it's, I think it's, I didn't, oh, right. it's but the name is Chaim Yankel. Chaim Yankel is just uh, a, a, an anonymous person. He's just some guy <laughs> with, but I never heard the cotton pants thing. Unless they couldn't afford wool pants, maybe, I don't know, but they, <laughs> it was a regular thing. <laughs> it's, a, it's a lot nicer than we had a local ice cream man in the neighborhood who was a Yiddish uh, speaker. And uh, if you were aggravating, he would call you a Potsvetik mit the ellipse. <laughs> Not nice. A Potsvetik mit earlaps. You are <laughs> a pain in the male appendage with earlaps. Like the hats had all your laps. It was not nice. But he would, all the kids, that's, if you aggravated him, that's what you were. <laughs> Hannah. Okay. And he sold ice cream to kids. <laughs> so, 
So I have so long, sorry. Anna, did you have something yeah. for us? Yeah, I do. I have a few things. So when I was very young in Israel, there was this young guy that used to come uninvited to celebrations, weddings. And my I remember my father made fun of him. He says about this shlob, er is an umzister fresser. That's right. <laughs> an eater? Yeah. Umzister fresser. Like, a, but surely, how would you say it? Uh, um, eating. I'm, I'm thinking. Eat. Like, um, like a, a, like a um, moocher, right? Extra, like a, yeah, like an extra moocher, you know? Right. Yeah. That's and, what... uh, um, and always, uh, they used to do this expression, like, in the mitten they're in, yeah. like, in, right? In the so something that? happened that doesn't belong, that disturbed, whatever, in the, in, in the middle of this, in the mitten they're in, and um, <laughs> talking about oy vey, I have a cousin in Israel, so she still says, instead of oy vey, a uh, broch? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah, that was a good one. My mother yeah. said that. Yeah, my mom um, said also, that, too. how about when you hack the cup of the vent? Oh, yeah. 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 <laughs> uh, uh, <laughs> so my mother, whenever people called her, and she used to sit here, and, and she didn't want to complain, she would ask her how she is, she would say, do hack, do clap, do clap, a big zunt. That was her saying. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> that's right. I heard that too. Yeah, yeah. And Dreymer nicht a cop, of course. Oh, oh, that's a good one. Yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> that's it. <laughs> so, can you say that again? We didn't hear you. Rochelle? Is this Rochelle? We lost yeah, I didn't say anything. I didn't say anything. Oh, I, I, we heard somebody say something. Something a hentale. Somebody said it was a hentale. Right. Go ahead, David. How about shtendik azoi? Oh. oh what is that? That was a, another parent to a child thing. Whenever we would make Mr. Oh, shtendik azoi. Always the same always thing. Always like the thing. Mm -hmm. so, How about so James? I, house, I used to hear her, her mother always say, Drek, Drek with labor. <laughs> Oh, yeah. Oh, that's not nice. <laughs> yes, yes. You know, I don't know the context. I don't know if it was, what, you know, go get something to eat. Or what, I don't know. What, what's the context for that? You have nothing. Huh? Right, Shirley? I use it all the time. I know. When I'm playing cards. When I'm playing yeah, cards. I have, <laughs> have Drek McLeaver. <laughs> right, when I'm playing cards. Drek McCusher to fool them. Another one, Drek McCusher to fool them. That was the other part of it. But, <laughs> What does, what does that mean with kosher thread? With kosher hot dogs, with kosher frankfurters. <laughs> Eating. Yes. Can you hear me? Yeah. So I read a sentence today just as I was sorting around a few things, and it, it, was, it caught my attention. Wer machen von deine Kishkis a telefon? What does that mean? <laughs> From your, it tests that you're going to make a telephone? I will, turn, I will turn your intestines into a telephone cord. Yeah. Right. And, the, and the comeback was, thank God for iPhones. <laughs> <laughs> thank God for what? <laughs> iPhones. <laughs> no cords. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. If you remember, the old telephone cord was all <laughs> twisted up, so this right. person was threatening you with bodily harm. <laughs> <laughs> you could hold the phone up like this, and it would unwind itself. Yeah. <laughs> Eventually. Uh, you never wanted to hear your parent, uh, you know, they always use the word Azan Bahimeth. Oh, yeah. Was, <laughs> a monkey. <laughs> anybody else hear that? Uh, oh, uh, yeah. Uh, again, it comes from the Hebrew yeah. Behemah, an animal. Nahan. Okay. An animal, but they meant it as like stupid, you know, doesn't not a Not a compliment. <laughs> not a compliment, right. <laughs> what is oh. a Bahimeth? Isn't that a cow? I thought uh, behemoth is a monkey. Animal. No. Behemoth. Behemoth. behemoth, it's an animal. Animal, so it doesn't have to be animal. a cow in specific. A bee is a cow. Right. So how do you say a monkey? Uh, I thought a behemoth was a monkey. A, a cough. A, a, a zan. A cough. cough. That's Hebrew. Hebrew. Cough is Hebrew. Cough cough is Hebrew. Hebrew. I thought behemoth was a monkey. No. No, no. no. All these years, that's what I've <laughs> I, I have what my father said all the time, and I say it 
now in a situation where when somebody was acting silly, he would say, Meshiga Tidvai. Anybody ever heard that? Meshiga what? Meshiga Tidvai. Does it hurt to be crazy? Oh, Meshiga Tidvai. Tidvai. Oh, Oh, yeah. He said Tidvai. He didn't say Tidvai. Different uh, dialect. Right. Depends if you're Galician or, or right. Litvish or... <laughs> Or American. Or American. Um, so um, if, if my mother would ask us, so like, what do you want for lunch? Or what do you want for dinner? And you go, I don't know, maybe this or maybe that. And you couldn't come up with, you couldn't come up with anything. You couldn't say what you wanted. She would say, what do you want? Kabeba mit Luxin? So kabeba is just like a delicious food. So do you want like nothing with with mit luxin, with noodles? Kabeba mit luxin. I don't know if anybody ever heard that before. No. Hi. Okay. I'm, I'm sorry. Can you hear me? Okay. Yes, Tova, we can hear you. Sorry. You know what you used to say? My house? Eat stones. Ah. Eat, eat rocks. If you, oh. if you can't make up your mind, have some stones. <laughs> and some <time. laughs> Diner. Who's next? Go ahead. Uh, Elaine. Oh, oh, I heard Say that. it again. Say it again. A Pachin Tuchas. Oh, a Pachin Tuchas. Pachin Tuchas, yeah. Oh, I heard one who's like a fucking cup. Or a plain Pach. That's what I heard about at my house. That you're not. Alan, you got your hand up? Yeah. So along with that, um, you know, uh, if we would complain, you know, why are you giving me a potch? My bubble would say, as me schlugt in tuchus, the skate that I'm in cup. If you pop the fan, it goes straight to your head. <laughs> oh, you know, I have a very good saying that something like yours, Alan, it says, uh, as me hotes nicht in dem cup, hot benes in the feast. That means if you don't think, it's harder for you. You've got to, if you can't think something, <laughs> then you have to physically do it if you don't think. Uh, yeah, that, that was a favorite, one of my favorites. Huh. Say it again, Tova. As my hot is nicht in cop. Oh. Hot, hot men this in the feast. You don't then have, you have to work. A uh, uh, feast means you have to go somewhere. You have to take care of it. If you don't think of something, like if you forgot to call somebody, then you have to, if you need, you have to go over there and then do more work. If you don't think, you have to work physically. Surely, yeah, surely. That's very interesting because I remember that too. When I worked in the inner city though, I heard one of the teachers always say to her class, if you don't do the thinking, you do the walking. And right, exactly. Exactly. Really? Wow. Yeah, that's exactly that's what it is. Anna, did you have your hand up? Yeah. So there's a bunch of expressions in Yiddish, that, but they really are not Yiddish. So I found out lately that a yupke is a skirt in Polish. Didn't you use your mother yupke? The word no. yupke, surely. Yupke. What's a yupke? Skirt. A yupke is a skirt, and it's in Polish. And also she said, she used to say about like a beautiful girl, something, a kratzavice. She that's like, Russian. That's no, right. That's, that's Russian. Yeah. And also, when somebody was a really bad guy, and I don't know exactly what it means, is Erizan Oisborf. Oh, that I know. Oh. That I heard all the time. An or yeah. It's a throwaway. A throwaway. Oisborf. Oh. Oh. Oh, oh, that's what it is. I didn't know what it I'm was. Sorry. It sounded yeah. like so bad when my mother said like somebody really bad. Oh, I well, thought it, was... it isn't nice. I mean, if you're a nice wolf, it's, it's garbage. You're going out with the trash. You're not worth right, having around. Exactly. <laughs> Surely. Anybody here? Me machtne shastraimo fin a chazo a chazo a ear. How do you say ear? Oyer. 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 So that's a good one. I like that. Somebody is low class or whatever, you can't make anything of that person. In other words, what you can't, you can't make something kosher out of something trafe. Okay? Right. You can't make, you can't make a silk purse out of a sow's ear. 
Right. Exactly. Oh, there you go. Okay, go Al got it. Go ahead, Betty. Um, how about um, Bush Faith uh, Goy from Lodgeson? <laughs> well, say it again. Say it again. Did you hear what I said? I didn't say hear it again. What, what does this uh, Bush Faith uh, Goy from Lodgeson? What does what a Gentile know from noodles? How about the day in Budaran? Oh, yeah. Yes. Yeah, did you go ahead, those? Gay in Budaran? Yes. Oh, yeah. I, so what I, does I, that mean? I heard it. What does that mean? I don't yeah. know how I use it. Hob de Hid Bud. Right. Can I say something? Go ahead, Natty. I wanted to say something about what you just said. Uh, about was face to for auction that in South Africa the the Jewish settlers called the Afrikaners and uh, it means, really means sinners because they saw their lifestyle as full of sin and the expression arose was face a for an auction it's the same it's the same expression was face a chatesim a chatesim for an auction Ruth so I don't know how many of you have ever been to the Yiddish Book Center in, um, in Amherst. Amherst, Amherst. I think. Right. Yeah. So I cracked up. I, I asked somebody where the ladies' room was, and in front of the bathroom they have a sign, and it says um, "Vudi Kaiser Gate Zum Feast." Okay. Right. Okay. And I had to ask my mother, like, what? Well, that's. <laughs> <laughs> no, that's, but, that's in English. That's a very good expression in English. So, so what it is is, so the Kaiser. I mean, he would he he would go on his uh, royal. He, he no one. He didn't have to walk anywhere. Everybody always carried him on his fancy throne. But obviously, in the bathroom, he went by himself. So that was like the only place. So on the bathrooms at the Yiddish Center, it says "Budi Kaiser Gate Zum Feast," where the Kaiser. Yeah goes on foot by himself yeah, well, yeah right. he yeah. actually goes by himself yes <laughs> right <laughs> anita. anita anita go ahead okay so i gave a speech once to a group of people it was a very jewish group it was yeshiva university and so i started my speech osmaville kenmer iber karen de gansevelt right and then i, I also that too. said Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. It's hard to be a Jew, but if you want to, you can turn over and change the whole world. That's right. So I used that in a speech that I gave. The rest is yeah. English. Yeah. Did they understand it? No. Well, actually, many of the people in the, in the group spoke Yiddish, and I was actually having a talk with Rabbi J.J. Schachter. Oh. So we ended up having a conversation was, to explain some of the Yiddish things that we were talking about. So it was a lot of fun. Yeah. yeah. Hannah, Hannah. All this talk is coming, bringing me back <laughs> memories. Bitter Vigal. Oh, yeah. Yo. Ah, good, good. Right, yeah. right. And Bitter also, Vigal. like, uh, that's yeah. all you need. Fal Falknicht. As those, as something will happen. Falknisht. Anybody? What's Falknisht? Falk, I remember like Falknisht. Falknisht means happen. it's not, no, Falknisht means it's uh, nothing's missing. No. I'm not saying it. I'm not saying it. Oh. Like that's all we need to happen. Falknisht. Oh, I have a good. Are you sure I have a Falknisht? Maybe. Oh, felt niche, maybe. Felt niche. Yeah, yeah, no, it's felt niche. Felt niche. I, just, I just remembered something that your, your word right now uh, jogged my mind. Alles, uh, 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 what is it? Uh, oh, why I forgot the first word. It's the stuba canum. Als in anum, als in anum is the stuba canum. Yeah. Right. Yeah, right. right. Which means? Every alts in anum, everything together is the stuba canum. That there, there is no perfection. Yeah, That's no, what. Yeah, there yeah. is no perfection. Yeah. 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 I think Betty has her hand up. Go ahead, Betty. If something was very, very good, my mother-in-law would always say, 
Tam Gnaidam. Yeah, Tam Gnaidam. Which means? The taste is like, like heaven. Heaven. Heavenly taste. Right. Uh, Alan, you had something. Yeah, so before we, I'm going back to some previous words. We're using the word drek, not a nice word, and potch. And the story is I was there, I was in shul in one of the little stables with my Zayda umpteen years ago. And one of the other kids happened to say something to his grandfather with the word drek. And I heard the old man say to him, Drek zuk me in shul, ich geh der bo gib me potch as they gay stoys cotton. Shit you said in shul, I'm going to give you such a potch, you're going to crap yourself. <laughs> I love that. That's a good, that's a good one. Oh. This was your grandfather? <laughs> no, no, it was some, I was with my grandfather, who was a kid in the next row, and he was acting up, and he said something to his grandfather about Drek, and the old man looked at him, Drek, Zuckman, and Shield, you can't get them give my punch against ice cotton. I'll hit you so hard, you'll, 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 your pants. <laughs> I think Mike Laser's next, he, he. Right. Yeah, uh, I think this has become part of the American vernacular, but canina horror. Oh, canina, yeah. Which I think. Yeah. Don't give it an evil eye, I think. Or don't. <laughs> yeah. 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 What? <laughs> What's the word? Bli ein ra. Bli ein ra. Without the. Canina horror right. and then. Hi, Lord. <laughs> well, it comes from Hebrew. Ein hara is evil eye, but when you say it in Yiddish, it comes out um, um, right. in a hara. So Cain is not, right. no evil right. eye. You're trying to revert the evil eye. What is the second word? Is it aura or hora? No, Cain ein, Cain ein, well, if you can not know it, it's Cain ein hora. How about we let Ruth do the explaining because that's who is asked. We can't have 27 well, of us doing this. Talk. Ruth, you please. Ask, you want to talk, please. Wait, I, it what? wasn't my expression. No, I'm sorry. No, it's Somebody else said it. You were explaining it. I was explaining it. So, Ayn Hara is Hebrew for evil eye, but it's been taken over as a Yiddish expression and um, it comes out um, Ayn Hara. Ayn um, Ayn Hara. Right, Ayn right. Hara. So, Cain no. is not, so it means no evil eye. You're trying to avert the evil eye. Right. How about the word nisugedach? Oh, oh yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, oh yeah. My yeah. husband's oh, yeah. mother said that all the time. Yeah. I, yeah. I never heard it from my parents. Unbelievable. Yeah, I heard all the time, right? Right. right. Okay, so nisugedach is we shouldn't know of it here when it's even worse than that. Miss Trakanum gedacht. Nobody should know about it. And you gotta spit three times. I bet right. Poo poo. The word is not finished if you don't spit. Well, that's also with Kanahara, because sometimes it's Kanahara poo poo. Sometimes we have to add poo poo after it. Yes. yes. You know what? We can make it in sentence. This is so shaking or a poo poo. Yeah. All right, Elaine, you have your hand up. Yes, I would just like to ask everybody for those of us like me who don't have as much familiarity with Yiddish, and, and most of you do this, but please explain the trans, you know, give me the translation. Thank you. I'm carried away with the expression, and sometimes I miss it. Thank you. Yeah, you know why? Because it's really Hebrew, and uh, it's and it's not clear Hebrew. It's not perfect. It's it's Yiddishized. Yiddishized so it's Hebrew. Hard. Yeah, Yiddishized. I'm I'm just teaching my grandchildren who speak perfect Yiddish. Shein vi di levone stern. You know. We can I, sing that too. Yeah. <laughs> Let's do that. Let's do that at the end of the. Reggie, did you have something? Right. No, I just it's humming of what she was saying. Anna. Oh me, shade with the lavona. You're beautiful as the as the moon. Moon. Shade with the lavona, lifting you as bright and brilliant as the stern. The, stars. The, uh, stars. The stars. Stars. Fin Himmel Amatone from the sky. Uh, I, I got a present. God Hodir Sumich Gesig. God 
said you said you to me. See, it's a it's a it's a, it's a, a pretty famous song, I think. Most yeah. of them, I think uh, it forgot is. who sang it. You know, Shane Vidi, Mickey Rooney used to sing that. Who? Mickey Mom Rooney. Mother's the Barry oh, Sisters. Oh, okay, the Barry Sisters. Right. Oh, the Barry Sisters also. Yes. Yeah. 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 Right. David. Uh, Dave, David's got his hand up. So right. Anita's mother, Anita's mother would always say, she would point to Anita a little bit, you know, when Anita was run, doing everything in the community, et cetera, she would look at me and she would say, to Zoys a Zibin, a Zoys a Zibitzik. The way you are at seven is the way you are at 70. <laughs> oh, that's good. She pulled me aside. Oh. To <laughs> so that's, Elaine, that's an exact translation of that. Thank you very much. I, I enjoyed yeah, the yeah. translation. It was you good. know what? I have to tell you, the American Jews used to use a Yiddish word that my parents never used much, alavai. Yeah, well, alavai. Yeah, yeah, all the time. I'm in, yeah, yeah. We're in America all the time, and my parents never used it. Yeah, we did. It's a Hebrew. Hebrew. It's a Hebrew. It's word. Alavai is also Hebrew. That's a Hebrew word. Yes, yeah, it's a Hebrew. Yiddish because but, I have it in a dictionary that's Yiddish, and yeah. um, and it talks about what it means. And it means it should be that way. I'll advise. Right. It would only be like this. It would only be. Look, y Yidd Yiddish is about 10% um, Hebrew. So, so just because okay. someone says something's Hebrew, it doesn't mean it's not Yiddish. It's a Hebrew word that's become a Yiddish word. Only you use Yiddish, um, Yiddish pronunciation. So it's you know, it, it could be sourced from Hebrew, but you can't say it's not Yiddish. It's Hebrew. It's still Yiddish. Um, just like the Slavic words, the Polish and the Russian words that have been coming up through here and the German words that, you know, Yiddish is a oh, conglomeration of a I'll bunch of I think Mike, Michael. You're on mute, Mike. You're on mute, Michael. My fingers don't work either. I, I, don't, know if we, I don't know if we did this, but Hakman Isha Chinik. Yeah, yeah we did that. Okay. Which we did means, it last week. Yeah. Which means, basically, don't, don't, don't bang on the, don't bother me, but don't bang on the pot. I think. Yeah. Right. Don't I, don't bang on a tea, tea kettle. A tea kettle. Right. Kettle. How about Zaydis Kedar met men fedir That's a good don't one. Don't be a that. fool, and people will not laugh at you. <laughs> don't be a fool. Anar. Right. Anar. 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 Hannah, you've got your hand up. So whenever my mo I, my mother used to threaten, I'm sorry, is it me or somebody else? Go ahead, Hannah. You're no. Better okay. you're out there, Hannah. Okay. Yeah. How, about, so, how about this expression? Of ala Yiddish kinder gesucht. That's right. Yeah. 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 Okay. Hannah, go ahead. Okay. So whenever my mother wanted to threaten us, she used to say, um, and we heard it like Khajirbal game which was Hadir Bal Gaben. You're going to get it soon, right? You're going to get it. So we never we make fun of her and say, Hadir Bal Gaben, Hadir Bal Gaben. Yeah. You know, you, know what she, you know what she wanted to finish? She probably wanted to finish, Ich will the Bal Gaben my patch. Right, but that's all she said. That was enough. <laughs> Reggie. Reggie's got her hand up. My, my French husband said to me just now, what about Guy Kabin Yamat? Oh, yeah. Oh, that's, oh that's Arabic. You know what it means? I know that's what it means. No, it could be Russian. No, don't oh. Russian. No, that's no, that's no, what it what, one at a time. What does it mean? It's very. You want to know? You know yeah, what, what you, it means? You want to know, really? Yeah. F U C K, F U C K, your mom. No. It's, it's yes. Russian. Oh. Yes. <laughs> it's <laughs> Russian. Yeah. Yeah, it's Arabic. It's a very I had no idea. <laughs> I never. I never get lost. Get lost. I have no idea. That's what it means. No, it's not Arabic because the people who said it didn't speak any, didn't know any Arabic. It's, I think it's Russian or Polish. What can you but I want to tell you that's what it means, and I've heard it used in ways that that shouldn't be used. I don't think that's I don't think that's what it means. My father really? would say that, and I I don't think it's what it, it's Polish, but it's I don't think that's what it means. No, it's yeah. okay. You know what? Let's look it up. <laughs> I, I <don't laughs> Tova, you're thinking Arabic kusemak. 
Oh, right. That's, you're right. That's you're the... right. I apologize. Kusabak is what I heard. To me, I don't know either. Not Arabic, not Russian, so it sounds the same. Kusabak. You're absolutely right. Sorry. I think it means go to hell. That's what I thought. That's what I like. Get lost, you know. I thought it was stronger because matre, I think, is the word mother. Yeah, you're right. I, I apologize, and you're right. Kusamak is what I heard in Israel all the time. But Kibini uh, Mat, I heard in Russian and Poland. But I don't remember. It's not a good word, though. It's, it's a curse. Right. Oh, of course. I think. I'm going to look it up. I, I never knew that. I thought Kibini Mat means just get lost. Get out of here. No, no. no. See what I learned at 71 years of age all these years? Something new. Huh. I'm going to look, you know what, I'm going to ask Google. <laughs> Rich, Richard, I see Richard's hand up. Go ahead, Richard. You're on mute. Go ahead. Um, a phrase that I have heard, which sounds terrific, but I don't know it completely in Yiddish or completely in English, but it's that when there's a conflict of obligations, you say the same tuchus can't dance at two weddings. Oh, the Kenshi Kansen is Svai Hasene. The Kenshi Kansen is Svai Hasene. My mother said it to me all the time. Hasenes. Mekene Kansen of Svai Hasene. Yes. Ah, El got it. El got it. What? Say it again, El. I like this. The Chamor of Gaze Dizog. Mekene Kansen of Allah Hasene of Svai Hasene. Allah Hasene. Met Ein Tochus. You can't That's dance at all of the uh, at all the weddings with one behind, That's or two weddings fine. with one behind. That's I heard that all the time. Oh, I always yeah. try to overextend myself. Oh, that's what. Another it is. another question. There's a phrase called "tuchis hafen tish." Right, right, right. You know what it means? It, yeah, it means, the... no, I don't exactly know what it means. It, it, Come on. Uh, Literally, it means ass on the table, which is not the way we would normally translate it. Took us off and tish, everything above board, all your cards on the table. Right, put the cards on the table. Is exactly. uh, is, isn't it took us off and tish? Isn't that kind of like the same thing as um, talking tachless? Yeah. yeah, that could be. That could be. Betty, Betty. Yeah. Betty. Could be. Yeah. Oh, y'all made me forget already what the damn thing is. <laughs> Put your put your, put your money where your mouth is. Yeah, yeah. that would That's work. Talk it off and taste. Put your money where your mouth is. Yeah, right. Say it in Yiddish. I called my uh, friend, uh, who's the Polish Russian ac uh, expert, Guy Kibini Matre. Is it pretty much what we said? Uh, what is it? What uh, is it? F your mother. <laughs> That's, wait a minute. Did I say that? Yes. <laughs> we all that's know. disgusting. So in other words, I know the two things, both in Arabic and in Russian now. But okay. this is Russian, yes. Compliments of <laughs> 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 Okay. <laughs> What's the word for mother yeah. in Russian? That's Russian. game. Esther, Esther, Esther. Esther. wait. Anita, um, what did you say? What is this doing? What are we doing? We're waving. We're saying what goodbye to somebody. We're shutting the hands. Same here. We're shutting the hands. Hot again. Hold on. Hold on. I just want to say. Hot agit u gesint un zi senor. Of dear gesuto. Amen. Amen for everybody. <laughs> All right, Esther, Esther's on. Bye. Now that David left, I can I can say, El had spilkes and tuchus. Oh, yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. <laughs> that mean, what does it mean? Reggie, that's you. Perfect. That's me. He has pins in your butt.
Explain. Yep. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 My grandmother would say, needles, needles, needles in your tuchus. You're a very uh, impatient uh, person. Yeah. Yeah. You need yeah. to get going. My grandmother would say, you it means it means a it means add. Well, <laughs> I was add before we knew what it was. <laughs> no zitzfleisch. Oh, oh, that's that's right. Right. oh yeah, that's right. another good one. Yeah, I, I knew. I, was, yeah. I didn't get that. Say that again. Did, Edie, did you I, have your hand up? No, I didn't. Look at me and I'll tell you have no zit slice. You oh, have, zit slice. You can't yeah. sit on your butt. You can't sit. Right. You're not kidding me. Zit no slice. Slice. Literally, oh, no to, sitting to me. Oh, you need to give us the You have English. no patience. You oh, have guys, no patience. Uh, one at a time. One at a time. Um, Joe, Joe, uh, we said we we're going to stop at five of us because pe some people want to go watch the Yeah, game. I'm going to watch it too. <laughs> oh, no. So, um, Happy New Year to everybody. Yeah. Oh, mine. That's oh, mine. mine. Bye. 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 Want to stay and schmooze. Please it's stay okay. out, yeah. You know, Mike, we didn't hear an expression from you, Mr. Mills. What what what, what expression do you have to give us? Well, what he can say is to me is for dream in this kind cup. Don't don't drive my head crazy. Don't spin my head around. <laughs> Michael, tell us I the one. Dollar. I get yours. This you have the bench. Your. I get your bye. Okay. Michael, tell us the one when you, when we play golf and you're looking for your uh, your your golf ball. Oh, I, I, you have to remind me. These are the minor baiting. <laughs> <laughs> oh wait a second, that was me or you? You. I figure it. Right? Yeah, like Mike would know that, right? Uh, who knows what I know? <laughs> so. Anyway, good night, oh, everybody. Happy New Year to everybody. I may not not be on in two weeks, but on Monday, not Tuesday this time. Okay. Good night. Good night. Good night. That was a fun session. It was.